This is an image of the Timer Pro Time Study on an iPad. This area here on the right is specifically used for high frequency timing. It's uh, That is particularly useful, for instance, in a warehouse where you might be watching people picking items and uh, several different operators or the rating of the operators changing very quickly. Uh, these keyboards here on the right allow you to make uh, rapid data collection. So for instance, let's say in this example here we see the uh, operators packing and the clock would be running. Uh, we could have a quantity of five here. If he picks up another unit, we could just hit the plus sign right here and that's going to increment that to six. The plus sign again would increment it to seven and so forth. If you make a mistake, this is a minus sign, it will take the quantity down. In the same way, you can change the operator rating up at the top here very quickly without having to make the normal selections. Um, that would be made required to make enter, enter a quantity or change the rating. So this uh, allows you to change the uh, uh, the parameters extremely quickly to keep up with uh, a very pa fast paced environment, such as you might f uh, find in a picking and packing uh, type warehousing environment. So here we have a simple warehouse example on a Android device. Uh, you can see here we've got some basic uh, uh, elements here. We're going to click on the option button down at the bottom left and we're going to go to the info. Now to turn on the advanced uh, capturing for the rapid data collection, we say expand rating and quantity here and it puts those buttons directly in here for you. Now you're ready to start your time study. So you can st click with the start button just like you would at any time. It says get work order and the clock's gathering on that and then he stops there and let's say now he's walking to storage. All right, so he's walking to storage. Maybe he's not walking exactly 100%, you can just touch the rating here and that will change it to 85 down here, just clicked on the 85 and that will be carried forward to subsequent observations until he, you decide to change it again. So he's getting a part, it's a medium part and let's say that he's picking up one, so you can hit the plus sign here and that's going to change the quantity to one, then he does another one, two, three, hit it again, four, so four, then you he puts the fourth one back. He doesn't need that. When you hit the uh, hit the minus sign, it takes it back down to three, and then we hit the time. It will save that and also record that as being uh, recording a quantity. You can actually see the quantity if you click on the little box here, and you'll see the quantity of three is in here. You can see you can add additional data right in here. So we'll just cancel out of that now, and now he's packing the item off, and that's going fine. And then he updates the order sheet and then he's going to get the next one. So he gets the next order, and he walk into storage now, and maybe he starts picking up his pace a little bit, so you might click on the 95 here, and that's going to change the rating here to 95. That again will be carried forward to subsequent observations. So let's say he's picking, the, getting a medium part, and you're doing the quantity again, so you count the one, two, and then we hit the, uh, the OK, and that commits that the quantity here, and hit the time, and now he's getting, we expect him to do a pack, but instead he's getting a small part. So we click on get part, it's a small. Now he's picking up these, so we can do the same for that. One, two, and let's say he picks up a box of 12. Clear it, and put 14 in here. All right, and then now you're going to wait till he finishes that, hit the time. And then maybe picks up some large parts. You can click on large. And these might be large but light items. And he's picking up five of those, so you can just put a five in there. And you've got that uh, entry right there. You hit the time, and it records that in there as well. So you can see what we're doing. We're basically accumulating uh, different uh, quantities in here very rapidly. And um, let's say now he does another one. He goes back. Now he does some packing. So he's packing the items off. And then he's going to update the order sheet. And then uh, nothing unusual happening there. Get the work order. And then he really starts to speed up, perhaps he's coming towards the end of the shift, so you might raise them to 105. And he's moving along quite quickly. He gets a medium part, so we're going to count those. We do plus on that. So maybe we do three items. All right. Then maybe a fourth one and maybe a fifth one. And then he does that. And again, he does another one. He picks up some smalls. And this time he picks up two, a two-pack, so we pick up two of those. And then we hit the time. And you can see this information has been accumulated uh, with the data here. So if we click on this, you can see the number two in there associated with get the part small right here. Just click on this. And of course, you can use all the standard features of the package as well. So let's say now he does some packing. He's packing off the item, hit the time, he updates the order sheet. 
and now he's getting the next work order and now he's back to a normal rating of 100 we can just click on 100 now just so you see it here if I want to go to higher values I can hit the plus sign here and it will take you up you can keep on going up depending on your rating scale I can go down as well see so you can scroll down to get different rating values as you're moving through here we're going to put him back to 100 here it's with normal pace and hit the time now he's going to we expect him to get a medium part but instead that he picks uh, a large part and it's easy to handle so say it's light and let's say there's four of them All right and they do that and then we're going to do the time and then we're going to do the pack and hit the time when he does that update the order sheet and maybe this time instead of getting another order he goes back and gets more items so we can come back to this pick up small you might pick up six items and we hit the time on that and you can see all of these being recorded every time you see the black button in here that's indicates you've recorded a quantity or some other activity with the data and now he's doing some pack on that item and then we expect him to update and then he updates the order sheet he doesn't get another order this time either he goes back and gets more so he's going to get more small ones maybe he picks the 12 pack up so you can just put a 12 in here and then he puts that away hit the time and then he's going to do a medium one so we pick on the pack we put it away and he's going to update the order sheet and this time he gets another order and so you continue doing this uh, using the on-screen keyboard here when you finish you just hit the stop button and um, you can toggle this this is a toggle you can toggle it on and off so if I come to the info and I say click on it again it will remove it from there so again turn it on you just hit the uh, option button at the bottom left the menu button you click on the info and you select expand the rating and it puts it back on so it toggles it back back on and off this allows you to gather data very rapidly in a high volume a high frequency operation you might find in a warehouse or in a distribution center